Hey, how's it going guys? My name's Daniel, aka Hashlips, and welcome back to the Hashlips Art Engine Updates. So for the version 1.0.5, there's been two utilities that's been added and I'm excited to share it with you. Go to this URL at the top, make sure you're on version 1.0.5 and then download this source code over here, the .zip. Then go and open your IDE and extract this file and open it there. When you have downloaded the zip onto your machine, extract it and then go and open it in your favorite IDE. I'm using Visual Studio Code which you can download and just simply say file open and open that folder after you've extracted it. You will also need Node.js. Download Node.js for your operating machine before you get started. To test it out, you can simply open the terminal down here by going up to the terminal tab in Visual Studio Code, click terminal and say new terminal. Once you have this terminal open to check that you have node installed, you can simply type in node-v. This will give you the version and assure you that you have node. Next, and this is important, going forward we're going to be using npm install instead of yarn. The reason for that is a lot of people have been having problems with dependencies so we're going to include the package.lock file. This means that if you run npm install you will get the correct dependencies. After you have ran npm install in your terminal you should see that there's now a new node modules file up here. Make sure that this node modules file is there in order to do the next step. In this program, you get the chance to take layers and create new images. If you want to see how to do the full tutorial on taking different layers such as these and turning them into new artworks, follow along with this purple series on YouTube and start from the first video up until this one. You might find that the different version builds, such as this one where it's version 1.0.5, have different add-ons and different things that you need to consider when running the program. For instance, from now on we are going to try and keep to NPM instead of yarn. But something that came along are two cool utilities. How you use them is pretty simple. Let's first go ahead and create and generate our collection. In this source directory you can find a config.js where you basically set up the layers based on your layers in your layers folder. These have to have the correct spelling on them in order to work. Then make sure that each layer has a weight attribute, a hashtag followed by a number. Once you've set that up you can order your layers in a specific way. You set your growth to addition size to how many you want to create and if you watch the previous series, you also see how to do different layer configurations. But for now, let's go ahead and create 20 NFTs or artworks. You can set format sizes and also if you want a generated background. Let's go ahead and run this. In the terminal, run node space index.js. Once you do this, the program will load the images into, the, into this program, into the RAM and start generating your artworks. The first time you run this program, it takes about a few, like a minute or so just to run. And then after that, it will always be fast. All right, there we can see that all the images have been generated. We can verify that the collection ran successfully, but firstly seeing the logs looking like this and it will create a new build folder. If we go into the build folder, you can see that there's an images and a JSON folder. Inside images, it's very self-explanatory, but this is where your new collection will live and the actual images that's been created. In the JSON folder, these are all the JSON metadata files that is custom to that image. Let's look at the first utility that was added. Now, if we go ahead and remove our main metadata file, which looks like this, if we remove it and delete it, for some reason we lost that file. What you can now do is a nice person in the community, which you can check on the git logs. Um, I don't know everyone's um, you know names because they have aliases, so uh, just go and check in the in the GitHub uh, logs who has contributed to this. 
but they have added the functionality to actually go and regenerate this metadata file. So how you would use this utility is actually by going into your terminal again. Let me clear it by pressing command K. Then you can run node space utils forward slash. Why do we put utils forward slash? Because we want the program to be pointing into the utils folder. After that, you can add regenerate metadata.js. Once you do this, the program will literally go and look at all the individual files and you see there's our metadata JSON again. And that's exactly how it works. The second utility, which is pretty cool, and I love it really so much that I'm excited to show it with everyone, to everyone, is the fact that you can now build and create preview images of your collection once you are done. So in order to create your preview image, all you have to do is in the terminal, you can run node space utils. We're going into the utils folder again, and then we need to say create preview collage.js. All right. When we run this, you can actually see that it created an image for us. And if we open the build folder now, the preview.png should look like this. That is simply how it works. If you want to change the way that your pre preview image is displayed or generated, you can come down here to the preview object in the config.js and fiddle around with the rows and the widths and so on to get to your perfect preview image. But that being said, guys, that's all for this version update. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys are going to make use of it. And just a side note, if you get stuck with any of the code, we have great channels. You can go firstly to our website and this website is regarding the Hashlips NFT project, but all of our social media are on here. So what you can do is you can go to our Discord channel, our Telegram group, uh, Twitter, YouTube, anything you would like to. Our Discord uh, looks like this as well as our Telegram. In these two channels or communities, you will definitely find the help if you don't know how to come right with this code that we have just ran. You can ask questions, but please be mindful and friendly in the community because there's always people who want to help out. Lastly, guys, I want to say thank you to the 51 uh, NFTs that sold of the Nerdy Coder clones. If you want to get your own one, you can go to the Nerdy Coder clones online, connect to the Polygon network and buy one. It's a hundred Matic. But anyway, we will have some cool things happening with that in the future. So I hope you enjoyed this video and guys, I'll see you in the next one.